Hello, uh, my name is Abdullah Taram from EDF. I'm working as development engineer in Sim Generator Assist subsection. So I'm going to give a short presentation about uh, my tube, which is uh, one of our use cases of artificial intelligence for AD coronavirus sieve testing. So the presentation will be displayed in three main points: the first point, context; second, my tube; and uh, finally, the conclusion. Uh, about the context, here we reactor building. We have a steam generator which link the primary and secondary loop. It is a uh, heat exchange system using tubes uh, between 3,300 and uh, 5,500 tubes to transfer heat from uh, the primary loop to the out pressure water circulating on the outside to produce steam. It organized uh, in array thanks to tube support here, uh, which are distributed along the length of the tubes. So uh, the tubes are constantly exposed to harsh environment conditions including high temperature, pressure, fluid flow rate and material interaction which might result in various types of degradation such as uh, cracks and uh, to ensure the integrity and the operational safety condition of nuclear power plants the tube are periodically inspected using AD current testing. But the inspection are carried out outside the reactor building with an automated system in which we fed the list of uh, tube to be inspected. A robo arm here is an example is used to manipulate and propagate the probe in uh, the tube to be inspected. However, there may be a difference between uh, the coordinates saved by the automated system and attached to the signal and the coordinate of the tube in which the probe is actually propelled. So there is a need to cross-check the coordinate fate in the automated system and the coordinate retrieved from the robot arm. Uh, usually, uh, the top view of the steam generator is used as a coordinate system. This is an example here. And so far, the verification of the position was carried out manually by analysis based on uh, the comparison of uh, current result, actual result with uh, historical results. And uh, this manual analysis has several drawbacks because it's uh, time consuming associated with a large number of required analyses. Uh, there is a high probability of human error due to the amount of and the complexity of the task and uh, it's uh, less productive and this limited the verification rate about uh, 5 percent then uh, the automation of the verification of the position can boost the productivity then uh, matchup is uh, introduced with this goal uh, it's uh, based on third holding and the use of uh, dynamic time wrapping to characterize each tube using bobin probe eddy current signals. So, uh, my tube is based, as I was saying, based on the comparison of bobin probe signal. Uh, the signal of each tube is compared with the result of previous year or after stage, and the positioning error will be flagged out if uh, the comparison show a difference between the signal and human analysis is also needed here but just to look at the signal flagged out and check the confirmation here is uh, the uh, output let's say of uh, my tube i will zoom it for example in gray here it's a report of the tube control and report as in good condition and it will be displayed in gray in orange is a substitute tube with potential uh, positioning error uh, which uh, the operator will uh, go to check and if everything is okay then it will validate and then the tube become green and the blue one is uh, if there is any uh, calibration error so this is out an example output output of uh, my tube and it allowed to go very fast uh, for inspection but this you know that it can be uh, challenging because uh, the speed at which uh, the probes are propelled in the tube can vary 
then this variation also may introduce any uh, some kind of discrepancy in the signal and to cope with this uh, speed variation we use uh, dynamic time wrapping to correct uh, this potential pitch deviation and uh, today uh, we can see that this uh, match tube was uh, let's say used uh, in industrial uh, case and uh, it was very satisfying so I come in the conclusion that uh, the software come as a revolutionary tool for us because it was successfully implemented and allow the monitoring and verification of up to uh, up to 100% uh, of uh, tubes remember that uh, in manual case it we were around 5% then this reduce also human uh, factor error it allowed to focus human analysis on suspicious tube only on suspicious tube and uh, this system is also fast and accurate analysis with consistent results another point is that of operation game because now we let's say that uh, it allowed to save uh, significantly the cost associated with a reduction of the number of required analysis and it also uh, environmentally friendly because we don't need to uh, print the paper so uh, this is uh, the last point of my presentation it was very short but if you have any question uh, do not hesitate to contact uh, Terry 4 uh, in this uh, address and uh, thank you again for listening and bye bye Welcome to SiteFlow, the digital tool for complex industries. Managing and improving security, quality and compliance is a key challenge for companies working in complex industries that manage highly regulated on-site operations. In order to win new business and encourage customer loyalty, customers need to prove quality assurance throughout their operations. Critical to this challenge is avoiding any risks and costs associated with regulatory penalties from being non-compliant. In managing their security, quality and compliance challenges, many of our customers have found themselves in a file or document centric model to help prove that compliance. This is leading to missing deadlines and incurring penalties. Let's take the example of a follow up document. Today, the problem with the file centric model is that we don't know if the required compliance signatures were captured, if they were captured at the right time, or even if the follow up document was available to the operational teams when they needed it. Having your security, quality and compliance data, for example, signatures on a follow up document in a file or paper format means the data is not always available, not updated on time and it becomes static. So what do we mean? Well, what we mean is that any adjustments, signatures or updates that are made to the follow up document in the field must then be manually duplicated onto each separate document, manually passed onto each individual person and shared with each separate team. And usually this is all done after the fact. As a result, the traceability of your data is lost and the management of these documents and reports becomes time consuming and potentially non-compliant. SiteFlow enables you to demonstrate that you are 100% compliant for each step of the project. Being data driven as opposed to file or document driven, SiteFlow follows the concept of using a data centric model. So let's again take the example of a follow-up document. So here we are with the follow-up document example. So you as the customer are focused on the signatures or prerequisites that have previously been captured so that the job can start on time, whilst being reassured that all security, quality and compliance regulations are being met. With this data-driven approach, your operational teams no longer have to search or sort through multiple files to find signatures and to make checks. 
They don't need to waste time chasing people or documents. They're able to commence work compliantly without risk. In SiteFlow, the data is already structured in a digital, relational and dynamic format so that the information operational teams need is presented to them when they need it. In other words, they can focus on their skilled task without worrying about paperwork. A data-driven approach presents an opportunity for you to reduce inconsistencies in your security, quality and compliance data and reduce time spent on manually updating documents and searching for information. All the information captured in SiteFlow automatically generates your compliancy documentation. So let's take a look at the SiteFlow solution. Here we have an example of a completed follow-up document, including signatures that was created and managed using SiteFlow. As you can see, all signatures are present and timestamped, ensuring that for each step, we have a validation that is done at the right time to comply with your security, quality and compliance regulations to help keep you compliant. So, how did we get to this document? Let's take a look. Instead of having one document with a signature from the field, we have created a digital operation that is structured in phases and steps. For each step, we can ask for one or more signatures. When my task has been completed, I can simply click on the signature button, select the person who is signing, and then simply go ahead and sign with my finger. And then validate that signature. And you can see that my signature is automatically time stamped. I'm going to show that again by signing the technical control. So this is the second signature needed to confirm the scaffolding assembly. So I go ahead and sign, select the signatory. We can write comments here if needed. And then I go ahead and sign my technical control. Validate the signature. And again, you will see that it has been timestamped. And I can also go ahead and see a summary table of signatures that have been taken throughout this operation so far and also if there's any comments in there. So we now can go ahead and preview the follow-up document. This follow-up document will show the signatures, the name and the timestamp of that signature to prove that you are now compliant. So let's take a look at this follow-up document. So here is the document. And if we scroll down, you'll be able to see each step of the activity that we did, the name, the timestamp and the signature that was captured. And that has been done for all steps of the activity. As we discussed today, the problem with a document or file centric model is that we don't know if the signature was captured, if it was captured at the right time, or even if the follow-up document was available to the operational teams when they needed it. As you just saw, using SiteFlow, you can demonstrate that you are 100% compliant for each step of the project, giving your teams the tools and information they need when they need it. It also gives you the reassurance that the regulations have been met as you continue to progress through the project. Operational workers can focus on their job and not worry about compliance risks. Thanks for listening to this presentation today and I hope you enjoyed the demonstration of SiteFlow. If you're interested to hear more, please contact us on one of the options below and we look forward to hearing from you soon. Hello everyone. 
In this presentation, we will show you the innovative assistant tool DeepRex, which uses artificial intelligence to streamline the extraction and management of engineering requirements. First, we will take a look at the complexity of the energy and nuclear industry. With over of 150 elementary systems, 50 buildings, 20,000 input-output of common control, 200 contracts and 3,000 stakeholders just for detailed study activities, managing all of this information can be overwhelming. Also, the process of building a power plant takes several years and involves a massive amount of data such as requirements, reports, diagrams and plans. With so much information to manage, it's clear that a manual process is not efficient, not accurate not, and not scalable. That's why we are introducing DeepRex, a solution that streamlines the process and makes it easy to manage all of this information. So, what's DeepRex? The solution is composed of four main components, a Reader API, Extractor API, Analyzer API, and Web App. The Reader API is responsible for reading and understanding the structure of the documents. This, the, this model has been trained on diverse set of 8,000 pages of documents from the nuclear domain and 1,000 pages from the medical domain, ensuring its robustness and flexibility. The, the Extractor API extracts the requirements from the documents using NLP models. The requirements extraction model was trained on 5,000 generic requirements from projects with various topics. The Analyzer API analyzes the requirements and cl classifies them by criticality level and business sector, detects similar and duplicate requirements, and analyzes their quality according to industrial standards. The web app is the user interface. It is, it is designed to facilitate exploration and use of the extracted data, making it easy for you to navigate, explore, and provide feedback. These components work together to extract and manage engineering requirements, making the process more efficient, accurate, and user-friendly. This slide highlights the powerful export feature of DeepRex. DeepRex allows you to generate reports for each document processed, making it easy to understand the information extracted from the document. Viewing the requirements on the PDF page allows you to see directly where the requirements were extracted from, providing a better understanding of the context. The Excel report also includes document page and requirement section information. Potential requirements that score above an acceptability threshold are highlighted in green in the Excel report, allowing for easy identification of high priority requirements. To understand how DeepRex can enhance the process of extracting and managing engineering requirements, let's take this example, where we compare the old manual approach, which can take up to one month for appropriation and estimation phase, one month for classification, and two months for rationalization phase. With the new approach using DeepRex, the, the process can take just two weeks for appropriation and estimation, one week for classification phase, and two weeks for rationalization phase. This example shows that with DeepRex, you can save approximately three months per reference and have a better management of on-time delivery. The benefits of DeepRex also include gains in avoided services, mobilization of engineering, resources, and user adherence. To summarize, using DeepRex allows you to automatically extract requirements to structure your project, trace the requirements repository created, and also with DeepRex, you can expect to save 60% of the time you would spend on extracting technical requirements from document and read a PDF page and extract a require requirement in just, in just 10 seconds. Globally, with DeepRex, you will see an improvement in efficiency, accuracy, and organization of your project. We'd like to thank you for your attention and for taking the time to learn about how DeepRex can revolutionize the way you work in the nuclear field. 
We look forward to the, to the opportunity to work with you and help you achieve your goals. Don't hesitate to contact us.